see whether that is going to come on through Baron. Unsurprisingly, going to be the first ban. We've seen that a lot across the course of not only this week, but this entire season of the Vainglory 8 so far. And TSM going to be looking to answer that, and it is going to be that Grumpjaw coming on through. So the standard first two bans, they're looking to come into this series with like a, a default draft to kick things off and then see where it goes from there. Yeah, TSM really likes to make sure that Grumpjaw is off the board. Uh, they're they're okay with letting the Baron through. They actually let the Baron through yesterday. They let the Grace through both games until the second phase of bans. They actually were able to secure it themselves when they were on B side, but uh, it was always the Grump Jaw. They make sure it does not get through. Vox will be the first pick though by NRG. Again, very strong pick right now. Can deal with the Grace if Team Soul Mid does decide to go that route, and they do. So. NRG will have to try and figure out how they're going to build around this box. Yeah, they're going to party ban, um, I was going to say about T's, but they're going to instead ban the Lyra. So at least by T's and Koshka open. And this is a potential pickup here. So okay. if NRG bans Batiste, I think Koshka will be picked up by TSM. Von C definitely played a lot of Batiste last week. So mm -hmm. wouldn't be surprised to see that picked up by TSM regardless. I find it amusing how Vox has become a very common first pick despite both him and one of his staple items being nerfed in 2.6, <laughs> but because of the introduction of Grace, he kind of got an indirect buff it's, just in matchups. It's also it's it wasn't a massive nerf. It was yeah. five percent off. It was of like him. a tweak. It was yeah, it was five percent attack speed off of him, five percent attack speed off of the poison shiv, which actually ends up coming out to about a seven percent attack speed nerf overall, uh, because the the five percent of the poison shiv is affecting the already reduced attack speed yeah. from Vox himself, so it's not a massive, massive nerf, which is why we're still seeing Vox be a top tier laner. I see Batiste coming out here, and then I see Energy potentially picking up Sky if they take Batiste on this pick. Oh, they're gonna go with Idris here, which is actually a good counter into Vox if played correctly. Yep. So I think here Sky may be a pick here, Glaive they usually pick up. Um, those are kind of the two junglers that Lightning T likes to play here in jungle. And the Idris is actually, yesterday when we were talking about Grace for the first time, was it was Idris was the example we were giving of, okay, you can go diving in with something like an Idris, get the heal from the Grace and stick in that fight for so long. We saw actually Idris being banned a lot yeah. in Europe, especially once Grace was already picked. So this is going to be a very, very strong pickup for the side of TSM. Not to mention Idris is a huge comfort pick for best Chuck NA as well, it but Arden going to be locked in for NRG. Yeah, Arden is a pretty safe pick here, and now they will kind of land on those two picks. I feel Lightning T is probably leaning on potentially that Glaive or Sky, but I think he's probably leaning towards Sky a little more, or maybe he might even do a CPBF. I think out of those three, those are the picks, but I think Sky is just Lightning T's like signature hero that he might just pick because it's, it's good into Grace. You know, it's a good uh, kiting, and the Frostburn can really slow her down and prevent her from getting onto Vox, etc. So let's see what NRG is going to decide here. Yep, still options available to them, but only 10 seconds to decide what those options are going to lead to. And it is going to be a Black Feather coming on through. So, relatively standard meta composition coming out from NRG, but not quite the, the powerhouse compositions that we've been seeing of late in these games. And let's bear in mind, Batiste has made it all the way through this draft. Yes. Grace is in the composition of TSM. We could be seeing that terrifying combo once more. Yeah, and. Uh, even though Blackfeather can do a really good job of dealing with a lot of crowd control, having the Batiste with the Grace just provides so much crowd control that yep. it doesn't matter if you're Blackfeather with a Reflex Block and a Crucible. Like, that's there's so many things that you have to worry about coming out at you. You have the Fearsome Shade, you have the Ordained, you have the Holy Nova. Like, that, that's so much to try and deal with. We're not going to see it in this game, though. Kestrel will be the final lock in. But we've seen Von C play his fair share of Kestrel as well. That's not something that he's going to be very Kestrel's new to. Kestrel's where he first made one. his name. Like, that was where he made his impact yeah. in the world of Inglory was on a Kestrel. He did, especially in the, uh, I believe, Spring Championships when he yep. played it so well and actually beat TSM when he was on Nemesis at the time. So this is a competition they've played before in terms of Grace Kestrel. That's a combo that they have played before. But what's different is instead of Glade this time, they have Idris. 
Yeah, we'll see how that's going to pan out with the, that Kestrel in the mix as well. It's going to be an interesting one. I'm curious to see against that Grace whether NRG can be aggressive enough in the early game like we talked about earlier. What are we expecting out of NRG coming into this one, Sweet Jay? What's their strategy going to be? Well, their strategy is to get to their mid-game power spike when Blackfeather turns level 6, has a Shatter Glass. They need to get onto Kestrel and delete her. If they let Vonsi outpoke them and get them low, they're going to lose every single fight. Yeah, the Black Feather I think was picked up expecting a Batiste perhaps, mm. because again, the ability to dodge crowd control and have the poke advantage over Batiste. But Kestrel, yeah. I think, was a great counter pick against that Black Feather. Really smart draft. Yeah, Von C is just that, like, you think you can poke? Let, <laughs> let me show you what Kestrel is. Well, that is going to be our drafts for this first game. Get in touch using the hashtag Vainglory8 on Twitter to let us know who you are going to be supporting. It's going to be TSM up against NRG. Let's head on into the game. Well, that's right. A beautiful, a rare, mystifying matchup between NRJ and Team Solo Mid. Scoundrel, this is going to be uh, pretty exciting stuff. We're going to see a little CP Black Feather. We're going to see a lot of burst damage coming out. And the most beautiful thing of all, Von C. Kestrel. I don't know, man. I'm probably too tilted to cast with you right now. Honestly, look, what happens if the break stays in the break? Be a professional about this, please. I'm joking, buddy. Anyway, yes, Von C. CP Kestrel coming out here. And look at Flash X, he started with a weapon blade. He's looking to get used out of the extra scaling on his heroic perk and do a bit of dueling in the early game. Very aggressive moves for him, especially having that uh, his boots picked up as well, giving him the same kind of level of mobility that we had seen on Gabe Vizzle when Gabe Vizzle piloted that grace in the previous series. Ooh, is, is Flash gonna get in here and get this mid? He's gonna try. He's not gonna grab it. Damage comes out onto Bradley though, and Flash is actually threatening. NRG over here. Lightning T Bradley gonna go ahead and back up. No harm, no foul, but nice plays out of Flash early. I like it. And this means Von C's gonna have a nice clean rotation himself. He knows exactly what's happening. Up in the lane though, Juan Hernandez taking quite a bit of damage. Flash gonna jump in. Uh, cancels off that teleport's gonna delay him out, but best Chuck getting the better of uh, Juan up in the lane. Again, Grace has the ability to do this because of the um, high movement speed that she's got, the high base movement speed, the fact that most Grace captains right now are starting with those boots to be aggressive in the early jungle. And Flash picking up the weapon blade has given him even more um, pressure potential because of the scaling that on the heroic perk that he has. It just means he can be even more of a in the early game against um, the enemy who are trying to defend their own jungle. And because of that, what Grace has allowed most junglers to achieve is getting a free Elder Tree in the mid, which gives them a level advantage, gives Von C a bit more farm in his back pocket, which can accelerate into item spikes, like picking up a, a couple of bit of extra crystal bits, working towards what could be a Shatter Glass. That's what Grace does, Humanist. Just basically buys time for your jungler to get free farm, essentially, and especially the Elder Tree on being such an important pickup. That is correct. It's, it's not being TSM that gives you Elder Trance, it's being Grace that gives you Elder Trance. Right now, Flash X doing a good job once again to zone out. S zone out. Oh, zone out. Lightning T and Bradley. A lot of glare shots connecting, actually. NRG, you gotta get back. It's the uh, active camera forward. Vaughn C not connecting on that second round of glimmer shots, so though NRG feeling very threatened. Lightning T gonna go ahead and back out, and this means Vaughn C should be able to get the backs. Uh, probably grabs all of them. That's a lot of extra gold into his pocket massive amount of extra gold into his pocket as well. I love the combo between um, Grace and Kestrel too, especially CP Kestrel. Use A, you get the slow down, makes it a lot easier for Vonti to line those shots up onto particular targets that he's following from the Flash X engage. Looks like they're going to try and catch out Juan Hernandez, who looked to make a cheeky attempt to steal some backs away. Doesn't get enough damage down, Vox not super quick at taking these camps, and Vonti and Flash X backed off and should be able to respond. This has been a whitewash of the jungle for these guys so far. Lightning T will steal that forward away from Von C. Yeah, good job. Uh, Flash not going to connect on his heroic perk there, and Juan trying to kite back, doing a pretty good job. TSM were just like a touch behind, cleaning up and finding kills uh, on this last rotation here. Now, about 30 seconds, we'll see Crystal Sentry rotating out onto the, the map, but for now, it's Lightning T who's found <laughs> Von C, or is it Von C that found Lightning T? Either way, Lightning T forced out potions, boots his himself to safety, and this is just a disaster of an early game. I mean, it all stemmed from the ability to give Von C that free early jungle because Flash X making those moves as a grace in the early game, forcing Lightning T and Bradley out. And now Von C has a level advantage over Lightning T, a farm advantage as well, and has stolen away the majority of Lightning T's jungle, so limiting his gold input too. 
Yeah, that's... Beautifully orchestrated. Beautifully orchestrated. Not what you want, but Von C taking a lot of damage because Lightning T actually found him first this time. This should be a dead Kestrel here any moment. There you go, Lightning T able to get it in. It doesn't matter. Like, level advantage, you have net worth advantage, doesn't matter. Not like he was holding all the items that uh, he had uh, the gold to purchase. But the fact that he was caught out like that, if Lightning he, Lightning T can jump on the Kestrel, he will find the kill. But uh, as I blubber on, Best Chuck able to drop down with Flash, and I thought they were going to get the kill here, but Bradley says no. Have a Vanguard get out of there, bud. What, what a great uh, Arden player. Uh, yeah, and obviously Lightning T, I think he used his boots to get out of there as well, so he was able to dodge out from a couple of basic attacks on Best Chuck. I don't know whether Best Chuck actually cancelled a final basic attack and, and missed out on the kill, because I think he thought... He he thought he was going to get the kill onto Lightning T there, but was the case. Still only lose one jungle tree on Von C again going super aggressive onto Lightning T here. Yeah, Von C playing some games. I mean he his Kestrel. I love Von C's Kestrel. It's one of the best out there. You gotta be careful though at this point. We're gonna see actually a drop down from Chuck. I guess they had the positioning advantage, so they're they're doing just alright. One shot will come out. Uh, just kind of a wild one shot guessing. Not going to connect, but Von C he grabs the fronts. Uh, let's see, what's he gonna go? Just Shatter Glass, pretty pretty standard build. Well, he's not even a complete, just picking up Crystal Bits. Yeah. He just wants CP, just g give me that Crystal Power. One thing that I think Von C has kind of underestimated though is the fact that Lightning T will burst him very quickly at this CP build. You can't go toe to toe in melee range versus Lightning T on the CP Black Feather. You do have to respect how easy it is for a CP Black Feather to burst a Squishy, especially if he does hit the on point. Von C was on the receiving end of that twice in a row, second time he got bailed out by a fountain from Flash X, but you do have to respect how important that is and maintain that range advantage that you have pre-level 8 for Von C. Maybe not make too many solo invades without the backup of Flash X there. And currently we're gonna have all of TSM up in the lane and Juan does not know what's going on. He gets the Vanguard out because Bradley does. Bradley with those spidey senses. Juan shot connects onto Bradley. He's gonna be okay. It's all calculated, holds his fountain, no panic there. Just cool, calm, and collected. Bradley. What a guy. You're gonna siege yeah. onto this turret as well. They've got great siege with the uh, the chakram and the glimmer shots. Easy to just shove those out onto the turret and take it very quickly. You hear me? If 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 Juan goes down to one shot, one kill, please can you say Juan shot, Juan killed? I just, I, I yeah. don't know if in the moment I will remember to do that, but that's pretty good. I mean, I'd like to take a moment and just soak that one in, even though. You know, it hasn't like happened, it's like a, it's and like I may fail whiskey. it. We just know that that one exists. It's out there. We, we can't it's bottle like that whiskey. one up again. Just, just have to enjoy it. Mm -hmm. Now that it's here, just crack it open and enjoy it. Cracking it open and enjoy it. Let's go. Team Solo Mid. Doing pretty well. They have uh, control of the map. Net worth advantage continuing to build. Would you call it a, a, the beginning of a snowball here? It does feel that way. It feels like the, you know, 3k gold has just suddenly opened up, even with just first blood on the side of um, NRG. But the, 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 again, this is TSM. They had great siege early on. You've got that range advantage in lane. You've got the ability to protect your carries if they do try to get aggressed on when sieging that turret. And you know, they can just shove everybody in lane and push onto these turrets because it's very difficult at this point for NRG to even respond, especially pre-level. Who's still level 7, by the way. Looking for a flank opportunity. Check Bradley. He might go for a gauntlet. Ooh, Bradley drops that gauntlet. What an Arden. It's Lightning T on the back, though. Misses his on point. You can't do that. That's Von C's Kestrel. Fountain's going to come out here. Keeping Best Chuck alive. Best Chuck dances onto the active camo. They find the kill. Juan kiting back. You're on the grace, bro. That's not the target you want. And Von C, one glimmer shot, two. See, I should have said one glimmer shot, two. Almost finding the kill. But this is uh, not a defense that NRG can make. They're going to lose Lightning Teeth. They're going to lose a turret as well. And Team Solo Mid just being bullies out here on the map. I think Best Chuck actually ultimated out of the Divine Intervention, so didn't get the heal from Flash X. But like you said, danced onto the active camo from Von C, giving them that trap to punish Lightning Teeth being super aggressive there. And again, achieved the same end result that they've been looking to whenever they've looked to make plays in lane. The end outcome from TSM has always been looking to take a turret. And because they have that range advantage, they have the poke of the Shackram and the Glimmer Shot, it's so easy for them to step up to a turret and start firing their Glimmer Shots, firing their Shackrams, either landing it on the turret for the damage or landing it onto the members defending it from NRG. The net result is the same. Eventually you're going to gain some ability to take that turret down and yeah, just TSM rinse and repeated from their first tier one to do it on the tier two too. Yeah, really strong stuff right now. I think also in that last engagement, 
I mean, well, it's not that I think Lightning Team missed the on point, but I think missing that on point causes them to lose that fight. Like, yeah, if Von is hit by that, he's not going into active camo. He takes huge burst damage, and you stick to him. Because Bradley had actually a pretty good gauntlet there. I feel like Von C's positional moves in that fight made it more like he dodged it. Like, he looked like he was he was duking around to make sure that it was very difficult. Big hit! Yeah, definitely. I mean, it's both like it's both a juke and a miss, obviously. True, true. I mean, they're basically the same thing, right? It de just depends on the perspective you look at it. Do you look at it that the, the player was good enough to dodge the skill shot, or do you look at it that the player missed the skill shot? It, like, it's, it's the same thing, really, isn't it? Mm, yeah, to a certain extent, because I think it's more of a miss because he knew that he was trying to dodge it, saying he threw it anyway. But oh, 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 Bradley, huge damage! This is TSM that seems to have the advantage. Lightning T misses another on point, or was it a dodge by Vonsi? Vonsi stands his ground, goes down. Lightning T should be able to boot his way out of this one. Best Chuck, he's gonna shroud step himself forward. The shock comes out. Lightning T, oh, the on point connects! And th they feel the threat, they feel the burn of that on pointing scoundrel, and they don't want to chase in there. Yeah, Shatterglass, really good against the same reason that Von C has gone Shatterglass, the same reason you're seeing Shatterglass come out on Lightning T. Double squishy makes those on points hit really hard if you don't have shielding. And Best Chuck doesn't have shielding. He's got a reflex block and some armor there. Working towards the Tension Bow. Standard Idris build coming out again for these guys. Tension Bow, Poison Shiv, and Sorrow Blade. Von C, where is Von C moving? Is he moving towards a Shatterglass? Flash X looks like he's moving towards a Shatterglass, by the way. People might find that odd, but Grace has got incredible scaling on her B and her ultimate. It means the ultimate can heal well over a thousand at level three. And that's pretty good. Yeah, that's pretty solid. Uh, yeah, I imagine Vonsi probably goes for that second shatter. And then we'll see maybe if he goes, uh, he can complete a clockwork, whatever he wants to. One shot, not connecting. Juan Vanguard does though. Juan Fountain as well. Keeps uh, Juan Hernan. See, it's not the Hernan, it's the Hernan is part that I always stick on. Keeps him alive. Lightning T, you're taking a lot of damage, bud. Gotta be careful there. Either way, the fountain is down for NRG, and Team Solo Mid bear down onto the choke point turret here. Doing a pretty good job. Flares coming out, making sure they keep track of Von C. I really like that by Bradley. That's one of, one of the big things you have to do, is kind of constantly flare that area where Kestrel might approach from. Poison Shift doing some serious work from Juan Hernandez this time. You saw Best Chuck only received 340 healing from the Divine Intervention from Flash X, even despite the fact that he had the components for Shatterglass, so it should have been doing a lot more. That's the power of Poison Ship against these types of heal compositions. It really limits the healing that can be done. And Shatterglass now finished for Flash X. He's going to have a little bit of extra damage coming through from all of his abilities, but also key key component being that extra healing that he receives on his ultimate. Doesn't have a Crucible. Relying on the reflex blocks from Best Chuck and A and Bonsi to deal with the likes of the Gauntlet. I guess Crucible would be an afterthought, maybe after the Atlas Pauldrons, that would be the next point of call for Flash X. Mm, definitely a, would be a good call for these guys. At the moment, they're going to go ahead and just take out the Gold Miner. Bradley trying to move forward. I think it's kind of crazy that uh, TSM, like all of TSM, walked through that left tri brush and that scout trap was there the whole time. It didn't get cleared out. Best Chuck finally takes the movement through and we'll go ahead and clear it. Um, but yeah, that actually gave a lot of vision over to NRG for quite a while there. What I really um, like about Flash X's itemization this game is he second itemed Contraption. You might say, why has he got the Contraption? They've not got anyone that needs a Contraption. Contraption is the best way to counter a Contraption. And Bradley was going to go a Contraption because he's going up against the CP Kestrel. So if you get that before Bradley, you can win the vision war before it even starts. Big engage here, Bonsi. Oh, Lightning T, he smelled blood trying to get in there, but it's best Chuck is finding the damage. Shock him, will miss on its uh, return, and <laughs> Bradley just jumped right on top of his team with that gauntlet. It's not enough. Uh, they can't kite around the walls there, and Bradley with the self-vanguard out. Flash trying to slow him down. Does team, will Von C actually get up there? No, Bradley's not going to have any of that business. This should be choke point turret going down, and team solo mid finding two kills, not losing anything. Vonsi also going to take the backs away on his way out, but again, yes, big heal came from Flash X down onto Vonsi, and then Vonsi was basically untouched. It was the big wall of Flash X and Best Chuck NA to get through for Lightning T and Juan Hernandez, and Vonsi was able to land glimmer shots for free, even though he got stunned up by the gauntlet, was able to walk out of that and land some big glimmer shots to take out Juan Hernandez and Lightning T in that fight. And positionally, Vonsi had moved himself to an area of the fight that people either had to commit to him. Cannon. 
Well, we may or may not have lost Excalendrol. I may or may not be disconnected right now, but I see the game in front of me, so I'm thinking I'm not disconnected. So I'll go ahead and uh, cast this one until Kieran. Kiernan's back with us. Um, I, I, I thought I was still here the whole time. I heard you perfectly and the game was still going. I must have just been on your, on, well, maybe on everyone else's end. <laughs> no, I was just trolling you, bro. I could hear you too. I'm just kidding. I couldn't hear you. Um, but yeah, you're back and that's the important thing. That I'm not alone. People aren't forced to listen to me solo cast this one. I'm no dowsy. I'll do my best though. Team solo mid, complete control of the map. It's chicken pox on the map right now, Kiernan. And what, what would you recommend? Uh, what would be your medical opinion for NRG? Uh, what, what's the best chance to come back here? I, I think, you know, you need to play the uh, the Lightning T game where you can try and get a lot of damage onto Fonzi before the fight breaks out. But the problem is you're going up against a similar ranged ability. Level 8, uh, overdriven, um, on point, it's a you know, similar range to the Glimmer shot. So you have to be so careful about the way you position, but you need to be able to, I think, rush down Fonzi somehow in these fights. It's still very, oh, the damage onto Bradley. Yeah! Uh, I should drop in chat right now and say, turn your volume down, folks. But I'm not gonna do that. Threading thread in the needle there, and, and Han was really trying to get in the way of it, but he just didn't. Bonsi double shot glass sweeping through and taking Bradley off the house. He unfold, gives them a free Kraken as well. Tried to go for the ultimate on Vox to pick that one up. He didn't manage to do so. The problem Whoa. for the problem for uh, NRG right now is they need to somehow deal with Von C. But there's no dealing with Von C. Let's be real. Scoundrel. Let's be real. There's no dealing with Von C. You, you, you may you <laughs> you may be hearing me. I'm not hearing you currently. Let's go ahead and close this one out. And uh, Karen and we'll be back in just a second. Best check. It's gonna move forward into the brush. It's an on point. Bradley's down with the gauntlet. Gonna be uh, Flash moving forward while Vonsi looks to kite back. Can they get onto Vonsi? Look at the healing coming out onto Vonsi. Lightning Teal. <laughs> T wishes he could get that kind of healing. And this is Juan Hernandez trying to find the damage, but Best Chuck is there, chops him down. And Bradley running for the hills at this point as Vonsi chases him down. Bradley not gonna walk into time. that one there. I can hear you perfectly the whole time, Humanist. I don't know if you're trolling me or not anymore. <laughs> I'm both trolling you and not trolling you at the same time, but a little bit more not trolling you at the moment because I couldn't hear you. I mean, I don't know what's going on. Maybe I have selective hearing and I can hear in-game sounds and I'm not lagging, but I just can't hear you. Well, maybe that, maybe maybe it's a team speak thing. I, I could hear you the whole time. No lagging in the game, but I tell you what, TSM replicating that C9 dominance in their game, a 17 minute game over NRG right there. And Bonsi, given his CP Kestrel, definitely dominated with it in the early game.